Well, that's good to know. Very, very good. The final question would be then in terms of uh, technical aspects of the um, performance of the machine. You have asked me a question that I take great delight in answering. Uh, one comment I had from a technician was when they can't touch you with a 10 foot pole, you're so far ahead. I, so I asked him to explain. He said, well, when it comes to answers, you can provide them. So ultimately, when it comes to comparison, you get questions like, Ren, uh, what is your EER rating or your SEER rating? Well, EER stands for the energy efficient rating. SEER stands for the seasonal energy efficient rating. So we get people asking about the seasonal rating, which really doesn't apply because we don't have changing seasons. And when you're comparing the different brands, then ultimately you're, you're interested in how efficient that machine is. So the energy efficient rating is the number you're looking at. And even with the energy efficient rating, if you put a super efficient machine into the incorrectly sized location, then you don't get the benefits and the gains of its efficiency. So here is where we shine when we have a super efficient machine and we can size it according to the requirements of the space and then the product performs at its optimum and you get all the savings that you are looking for. Well, that's excellent to know. From time to time, you do get um, ACs which show you an error code. 